Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. Uh, if uh, you want to know when I release new content, click that little bell notification icon. And if we're lucky, YouTube will let you know. Uh, if you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you all for being here. And you're probably wondering, where is Willie? Why, why can't we see Willie? That's because I am standing behind this awesome mountain of technology. So on the bottom here, we have the Synology DS1621XS Plus. A lot of you've been waiting for this. This is like the first desktop Intel Xeon based NAS that Synology has on top here. This is a uh, an expansion unit, and I believe it's the uh, DX517. And then down there in front, you're going to see the M.2 and the SSDs. So we're going to talk a little bit about this. There's going to be multiple videos about this. This is just the first. You know I'm not much for unboxing. Uh, there are other people that make a spectacle out of that and do a much better job. And I don't know how the camera just reacted to that, but I'm going to set the expansion unit on the ground so you can see me. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this um, unboxed. We're going to take a look at it, talk about the specs real quick, look at the drives, look at the expansion unit. Then I'm going to put the SSDs and the M.2s in this, and we are actually going to use this unit for our surveillance station um, videos. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and you can actually do a lot with this. It comes with eight gigs of RAM, but let me, uh, get this thing out of the box, get the expansion unit out of the box. And we will, we will take a look at this. We'll be right back. It is powered by an Intel Xeon D 1527, which is four cores Four. I've seen some information out there where somebody said this had eight cores. It does not. It has four cores each core running at 2.2 gigahertz. It does have a hardware encryption engine. Ships from the factory with eight gigs of DDR4 ECC, is expandable to 32 gigs, has a total sequential read of 3,100 megabytes a second. So if you take that multiplier, it's a little less than three gigabytes a second, and I do believe have to do the math on that. Somebody let me know down in the comments. Um, you can have a total of 16 drives if you use two of the expansion units. And you can have a single volume on this of 200 terabytes. Um, the drives are hot swappable. It does have two M.2 NVMe um, SSD slots for caching. So you're going to see that. It does have 10 gig ethernet, has a five year uh, warranty through Synology, and you can get the SRS, which is the Synology replacement service. So you can possibly get next day replacement on this unit. Runs all of our existing favorite apps. Um, I mean, this thing in a desktop unit with the Intel Xeon, the 10 gig ethernet, the memory up to 32 gigs, this thing is a powerhouse and I am super excited. In fact, I'm going to have to gut some of my other Synology units to put, to put drives in this thing and in the expansion unit um, so that we can get full use out of it. But I have plans. So we're going to use the, um, so of course we've got the, the M.2s right here, the NVMEs. So of course these will be our caching drives, but then I've got the 1.9, or I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not two terabytes, 1,920 gigabytes. I've got two of these that we're gonna use for our primary data so we can see how fast that all goes down. Um, another thing, if you are gonna upgrade this, and I don't know if you've run into it yet, I have run into it. If you don't use Synology memory, um, Synology would like you to use Synology memory modules for the best compatibility and reliability. They don't provide complete product warranty or technical support if you have third-party memory. Now, I can tell you that 
I've had units with third party memory and I've had support and they've never turned me down, but I wouldn't want to tell you that and then have you have to get support and then have them turn you down and then you're pissed off. That's, that's not good. So if you can use Synology memory, you should, um, you will get a notice. It does let you know that you're using non Synology memory. The uh, system fans in this are replaceable. We'll take a look at this here in just a minute. So this has got, you know, the, um, the six drive bays like we're used to, you know, these nice drive bays that Synology has where you just have the plastic piece. Um, I'm trying to do that blind. Isn't that hilarious? That has the uh, plastic piece that you just take off to put the drives in there. Um, let me flip this thing around. So here you've got standard, uh, standard power plug-in. You can see how deep that is, <laughs> recessed it is. Here you've got a Kensington lock. These fans are replaceable. So you've got the two big system fans. You've got a PCI slot over here for expansion. You've got your two, uh, I believe these are ACE eSATA uh, ports. You've got two one gig ports. You've got a 10 gig port and two USB three ports. You've got the reset button here. Kensington lock. You definitely would not want somebody to walk off with this unit. So this thing is, is beautiful. We're going to put these other, we're going to put the drives in it here in just a minute. Uh, but let's take a look at this expansion. unit. All right, here's the expansion unit. It is the DX 517. It's got five drive bays. Each one of these can have 80 terabytes internal raw capacity. The drives are hot swappable. You get a three year warranty with this. Your Synology warranty does start at the date of purchase. So you want to keep that in mind. Now, uh, this does not have network ports. It does have the Kensington lock. It does have the replaceable fans. It has the eSATA port. And the one thing that you probably, I don't know how much you've seen, this is actually This is actually this is actually what the eSATA cable uh, looks like. So, and we'll get this when we when this goes to its resting place, we will get this hooked up. So I think that's about all I want to go over for the specs. I'm not going to make this video too long because we are going to use this beast over and over again. So we're going to do some perform performance benchmarking. I'm actually going to combine some of my other Synologies into this. So I'll be able to uh, probably take three DS918s that I've got and replace them all with this. So I'll pull all the drives out of there. We'll have a mix match of drives and see how that works. But uh, let's crack the, uh, the DS1621XS uh, um, Plus open real quick and put some memory and hard drives in it. Okay, so to install the NVMEs in this, um, you can see I've taken the top off. May not be totally necessary if you've got small hands, but the slots for our NVMEs appear to be right here. One and two. I don't know if you can see inside there or not. Kind of a hard reach. Not 100% uh, sure what the the deal is there, but let's uh, let's get these installed. And this is the SNV3400-400G. It is an M.2 NVMe SSD. We're gonna go ahead and put this in.
Okay, there's uh, one installed. I really wish I had uh, better camera skills to be able to give you an idea of what I just had to do. I'll pick it up once I get the second one in there and kind of show you. I don't know if you saw me kind of finagling it in through the front here and it's it was weird. Um, but I mean, relatively easy, just not something that I'm that I'm used to here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There are the NVMEs right there. I don't know if I just did that the hard way or what. Maybe I did do it the hard way. NVMEs installed. All right, got the unit back together, and now we're going to um, put some hard drives in these trays, and that'll kind of wrap it up for this once we do that. Hopefully, I'm not as lost on that. All right, so now on these, if you're gonna use, if you're gonna use a non, if you're gonna use a, a smaller drive, like an SSD, there are four mounting holes that you need to um, use on this. And then you use the screw kit, use the screw kit that was um, included to secure the drives to these. Okay, this is what a drive mounted in the cage is gonna look like. I should mention too that if you are going to use other drives, you do have to take one of the mounting uh, plastic mounting brackets out. Another drive mounted, another drive going in. All right, well, that concludes the first video about the Synology DS1621XS Plus. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. If you want to see the rest of these videos, make sure you subscribe and you come back. And if you want to learn more about Synology, what Synology can do for you, maybe you've got some Synology projects you need to get done or any other IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you want to support the channel um, by using our affiliate links, those are down below. Do not feel obligated to do that, but know when you do that, it doesn't change your price and it kicks a couple bucks over to the channel. I want to thank you again all for being here. I'm super excited about this. This thing is so powerful in a desktop, in a desktop form factor. So in the next video, we're going to pull those other drives out, but we're going to get our SSDs up and going. We're going to get DSM installed. We're going to take a full look around it and we are going to start. I've got a little bit of a 10 gig network going, so you're going to get to see that. I'm pretty excited. We're going to be able to copy files from this to some of the other 10 gig solutions. See a kind of throughput we get. I'm just so excited about this. I want to thank Synology again. So um, once again, I'm Willie. Thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.